He's home doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, big man, gals who work are gals who like to play. Was I right? <laughs> yeah, I was right. <laughs> All right, then. Let's play. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Buddy Kino Walsh. He's all the way from the Big Apple. Oh. Hey, New York, New York ain't so bad. So long as you don't have to live there. <laughs> now, I told Mr. Walsh that we were going to behave ourselves. Come on. So I lied. <laughs> That's a good story. Make it started, Jerry. That's the sort of attitude that will get you nowhere. Now listen, I got your checks right here. When I call your name, raise your hand. Lukowski, Jerry. Lukowski, Jerry. Instead of grousing about what your union is going to do for you, think about what you can do for yourself. And that goes for all of you. What do you want? What I want, that's easy, asshole. I want a job, I want to feel like a person instead of a slob. I want to wake up knowing where I'm going to go, not going nowhere, wander in the streets of Buffalo. Cause it's a slow town when you don't know where to go. I'll be wet down the razor, then I'll figure what's the point. So I'll go into the living room and roll another joint. Then lunch, then a beer, then sit like an ape on the sofa with a hanky and the same old porno tape. But that's a big day when you're scrap. What I want, I'll tell you, jerky. I want a life, I want to feel like the husband instead of the wife. I wanna get some sleep when I go to 
a bed. Instead of lying there, digging through the garbage in my head. It's a long night when you're scrapped. It's a long, long night when you're scrapped. Scrap, yeah, yeah. I know what I want. A place of my own. It could be a room, even, just so it's mine. I don't know what I want. Something. Somebody. I guess I'm lonely. I'm lonely. I don't know what to do. I should get out. A bar. A party or two. I should use a friend. Somebody. Somebody, somebody new. But there's that horrifying moment when they ask you what you do. Hi, I'm Malcolm. A complete loser who still lives at home with his mother. Hi, I'm Dave Bukatinsky. I just defrosted my refrigerator and vacuumed my living room. How was your day? Hi, Jerry Lukowski, 32, out of work, divorced, in debt up to my balls, need some serious dental work, and if I don't make some money soon, they won't let me see my kid. I'm fed up, frustrated, angry, and oh yeah. That's it for tonight. See you going next week. Yes, I finished my homework. You're such a warrior, Dad. Any messages for Mom? Yeah, tell that guy she's living with a still jerk. I'm supposed to tell you you're late with this month's payments. I know, I know. I'm working on it. It's not like you're starving. Don't worry, Dad. You'll get a job. Do I look worried? I'm just waiting for the right situation. You don't want to see your old man bussing tables, do you? I wouldn't mind. Yeah, well, he would. Remember, you're mine next weekend. There's your bus. I love you. Me too. Ow. Now get out of here before you get me in trouble for keeping you out too late. Mom's not even home tonight. Home. I'm not gonna call that place home. Uh, where do you have kids, Dave? Changes everything. There's nothing you wouldn't do for your kid. Should have had ten. Why? You're having trouble enough with one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy for real? We could look like that. We could. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a choice. Mm. Besides, they're all fairies, these Chippendales. They are? Real guys don't look like that. They don't have time. <laughs> they look like you. <laughs> Hurry up! My sister saw them in Ithaca. She said they were fabulous, and she's a lesbian. Hey, ladies. Are you really going in there? I mean, what do they got that we don't? Just about everything. What do I owe you, Joni? Fifty. Come on. Fifty? 
Where do these ladies get that kind of money? Same place we used to, they work for it. Yeah, but 50 bucks? There must be a lot of desperate women in Buffalo. Why not? There's a lot of desperate men. <laughs> Come on, let's go get drunk. I, uh, <clears throat> I told Georgia I'd finish the dishes before she got back. Last week I caught you vacuuming. This is not a good trend today. You do housework? That's different. I'm divorced. I have to. Where is Georgie anyway? In there. With those strippers? You let her go? Sure, she organized it. Oh, Davey, this, uh, this is, okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to walk in there and you are going to haul Georgie out of there. Show her who wears the pants in the family. It's women only. How are we supposed to get in? Well, not through the front door. Follow me. Jeez, would you listen to them in there? Some of the bills from behind the fourth quarter. I don't know what they're screaming about if they've got the real thing waiting for them at home. Hey, you're still giving it to Georgie, aren't you? Of course you? I am. What do you think I do? Hey, I just asked. <laughs> Best friends get to ask things like that. That's what we're for. And then what the hell is she doing in there? I don't know. You know, you start letting your wife do anything she wants, and you are going to end up like me and Pam. Seems to me you didn't let Pam do much of anything. Shut up. You don't know squat about me and Pam. Go on, get her. I'm going. I'm going. <clears throat> you're, uh, you're not coming with me? My wife isn't in there. What if I get caught? No big deal. They'll just castrate you. Right. Oh, no, that line for the woman's room is ridiculous. I'm Jesus not going. Christ, that's my wife. Hey, this is the men's room. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> it's empty! Oh, what did I tell you? Go in! I don't have to go! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ladies, <laughs> welcome to the inner sanctum of the American male. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a hostile takeover. <laughs> All day. 
I nearly fainted. Your <laughs> <laughs> ex had a beautiful ass, didn't he, Pam? Jerry? I don't remember. What do you mean, had? He still does. <gasps> Oops. Me and my big. Hello, Estelle. Hello, Mrs. Lukowski. You're the last person in Buffalo I expected to see here tonight. Well, isn't that funny? You're the first. Drink. I see someone like Estelle in it. I just don't know what Jerry ever saw in me. Uh, just about everything. <laughs> I mean, you guys were beautiful together. Ah, oh, high school sweethearts. And that wedding in his mom's backyard. And then Nathan. Oh, sometimes I think you and Jerry are the reason me and Davey got married. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you two made it to maturity. We never did. After Nathan was born, one of us had to grow up, and it wasn't going to be Jerry. Nathan needs a father, not a playmate. Hey, is somebody in there? Yes. No! no. Yes. Uh <laughs> Enter Teddy. I never thought I'd be living with a man who wore a suit and tie to work. I'm doing yoga, Nathan started soccer. We're going to Cape Cod next summer. Life's starting to feel real good again, Georgie. Well, I hope you're not doing yoga because you're not doing something else. Well, I shouldn't have to tell you, Georgie, that there's more to a good relationship with a man than sex. There is? <laughs> Look at you and Dave. God, all this uh, testosterone in the air has made me remember how long it's been since Davey and I made love. Georgie? It's making me nuts, Pam. I mean, months and months and not even a hug. I mean, I tried everything, from Victoria's Secret to losing 15 pounds. I mean, the girls at work are pushing Prozac on me. I don't need a pill. I need my husband back. Georgie, I had no idea. Yeah, my self-esteem would be down to here if it weren't for this guy over in shipping who keeps coming on to me. But you wouldn't, would you? I don't know. He's a black guy. And he's married, too. And he's really good looking. He's got a great sense of humor. And he thinks I'm gorgeous. You don't mean that. Yeah. I know you. Yeah, see, it's like Dave's- You never cheat on Dave. Yeah, see, it's like he's given up on everything. <laughs> Including me. Oh, God, and I come home, and he's this zombie. Dave needs to get back to work. They all do. It was an awful thing, the factory being shut down like that. We're working, they're not. It's not right. Well, there's work out there. Nothing's good enough for him. This was a bad idea. <laughs> At least you got a nice ass. <laughs> now get a job. I'll show her who Nathan's father is. Georgie says they're gonna be hiring at the Miracle Mall. Yeah, security guards. No one's putting me in a baggy brown uniform so I can walk old ladies to their cars. I hear you. Now I'll figure something else. I'm not gonna sit around while my life goes down the drain and my kid gets sold to the highest bidder. That's not what Pam said. That's what she meant. Do you know how much Cape Cod costs? Come on, let's go rob a bank, you fat bastard. I know, I shouldn't call you that. But you are. Try to lose weight. Well, what happened? I get hungry and I eat. <laughs> hey, you eat all you want. You're my kind of guy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Hey, don't get any ideas, Prancer. I beg your pardon? This is 100% heterosexual prime male you're looking at. Well, that's lucky for both of us. You're not my type. Tell your friend he can save the attitude for his number. Um, what number? I'm expecting a dancer. I thought you were his manager. Oh, unless it's the other way around. Jesus, that would be a novelty. Benno, the dancing belly. No offense. 
My name's not Venno, and he's not a stripper. What the hell are you two doing in here? It's ladies only. And what are you, pretty boy? I'm what the ladies wish you look like. Yeah, and we're what the ladies don't know you're not. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Real, Real men. men. Get a life! Don't worry, I will. Hey, what's his problem anyway? You are a fly boy. Oh. Fairies one, bigots zero. Jerry, what did he do? Took me for one of them. Yeah, well, he took me for your manager. I'm the one that ought to take a swing at him. Well, come on, Joe boy. You want to mix it up? Oh, this is getting silly. I'm sorry. We're both in a very emotional state right now. We just found out what our wives really thought of us. Well, my wife, his ex. Yeah, well, I think you're both pathetic. Yeah, that's sort of what they said. <laughs> well, employed almost 18 months, he gets to you after a while. Sure. That's when my brother split to Albany. You couldn't take it here anymore. Ow. Well, stay Ow. still, would you? Oh, is he gonna live? I'll be fine. You're just lucky I didn't see you coming. I know. I'm a very lucky girl. <laughs> Listen, I got a show to do. This time, it's John Wayne. Go figure. Listen, it beats working at a mall. Yeah, that's what Jerry always says, except we're not working. Hey, what's your brother doing up in Albany? Working at a mall, honey. He seemed like a decent guy. <laughs> he called me honey. Did you hear that? Creeped me out. I thought it was kind of nice. You. You cry at Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Chippendales. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, boom! Boom! <laughs> I do that again. Why? Am I turning you on, darling? Yes. <laughs> I know you can't, Jeff. You are giving me one hell of an idea. If our ladies are spending 50 bucks a pop to see total strangers dance around in the raw, can you imagine what they would spend to see the likes of you and me? Yeah. Nothing. <sighs> Ah, oh, they would melt at the sight of us. A couple of homeboys bearing their off, and we are straight, too. See, that could be us they are screaming for. Real men this time. Not some guy on a poster all perfect, but a guy you would see walking the streets of Buffalo. Oh, sure, out of work. Picking his nose, scratching his ass. You have no imagination. And you are out of your mind. These guys like us, stripping. You're out of work, your pride is missing. They call you jerk, but you don't listen. You haven't got a pot to piss in, but you're a man. Your hands are rough, your back is hairy, your talk is tough, oh, your smell is scary. Here's what you're not, you're not a fairy. No, you're a beer drinking real life man. And when a beef comes out, you do the carbon. You hate Tom Cruise, but you love Lee Marvin. You're a man, and that's a bonus. Cause when you swing and you're cojones, you'll show them what testosterone is. Cause you're a food wearing, beer drinking, Chevy driving man. Okay, don't do it to be the most talked about man in Buffalo. <laughs> don't do it for all the money you're gonna break in. What? Don't even do it so your best friend can keep on seeing his son, whom he loves more than life itself. Oh, no. Do it for yourself, baby boy. Show yourself the stuff you're made of. Don't do it for me. You're wasting your breath. It's a brilliant plan, my best one ever. You get these plans, they always fail. You've been divorced, ooh, you've been to jail. Okay. You may be bold, you may be male, but you're a bum. Bum, ba -dum, bum. You got your dreams, you got your wishes, and I don't want to sound malicious, but you're a nut, and I got dishes. Ah, I'm going home. See ya. All right, you walk away now, but you know you'll be back. You're always there for me. Not this time, Fabio. Jerry the stripper. <laughs> Surf's up, ladies. 
Here comes Lakowski, the big kahuna, riding your pipeline. I'm hanging 10. Stand back, ladies. Quarterback Jerry throwing a long one right into your end zone. Touchdown. Bad boy Jerry steps up to the bases, swinging a big, a big old bat. Banging one right at you, baby. Booyah! I'm gonna jump straight up, kick a hole in the moon. Don't know exactly where I'm going, but I know I'm gonna get there soon. I'll show you, I'll show them all. I'll show them all the real thing. What is a man? Why does he bother? Cause he's a man. Cause he's a father, he wants his kid, he wants his life, he wants to dance. He wants to be a man, a real man. Yes, I am, I'm gonna be, I've gotta be a real man on a mission like you see on television. I'm a real fat, genuine. someone's fantasy. People forget you have feelings and you end up feeling like a piece of meat. Do you think I'm attractive? <laughs> Somehow I didn't expect you to ask me that. Sorry, I've got a boyfriend. No, no, no. I mean, do you think they would think I was sexy? Who, the ladies? You don't know? I mean, if I did what you did, you know, if I... <laughs> I think they would think you're funny or scary even, but not sexy. How do you get to be sexy? Same way you get to Carnegie Hall. Practice. Lots of practice. And you don't think I got what it takes? Look, anyone can take their clothes off, but to do it on stage with hundreds and hundreds of people looking at you? Yeah, that takes something. What? Tell me. I'll let you figure it out. <laughs> Utica, here I come. <laughs> Everybody wants to be in show business. I'm gonna jump straight up, kick a hole in the moon. Don't know exactly where I'm going, but I know I'm gonna get there. I may be broke, I may be lazy, it might be a joke. They're fucking crazy, but I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man. up to another for sale sign this morning. This one was right next door. The Carlucci's? Wait, wait a minute. Dan and Louise. They're third generation Buffalo. Moving to Raleigh as soon as they sell. You know, they ought to make a bumper sticker. Buffalo, love it and leave it. <laughs> what happened? This used to be a great town. It will be again. You know the saying. Grass is always greener. What grass? We got contaminated brownfield. What's all this? About a deadline and you having sole custody? That wasn't the deal, Pam. If you want joint custody, Jerry, you're going to have to pay your share. $700 a month, that was the deal. You've been in arrears since it started. I am on the unemployment line, in case you haven't heard. Then get a job. I'll give you a job. Uh, $9.50 an hour in the fucking black hole of Calcutta? No, thank you. It is not the black hole of Calcutta. And I'll thank you to not use that kind of language while you're here. Niagara Estates. I'm very impressed. Nathan comes home from you talking like a sailor. Pam, have you ever met a sailor? Teddy doesn't appreciate it either. That wuss. Where's he? Right inside. Oh, working on his stamp collection? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. If you want to go off and play your games, Jerry, you do that. But from now on, Nathan's going to have two parents. Oh, and that would be your stud lover? An abracadabra. Here he is. 
Hello, Teddy. The court will decide who Nathan's parents are. No, it won't. Nathan is yours and mine. He has fuck all to do with him. As if you've ever given a damn. Jerry, Nathan doesn't even like staying at your place. He says it's a mess and he's cold all the time. We have fun. Where is he? Is he up in his room? Hey, Nate, we have a good time, don't Jerry, we, son? Jerry, don't. Is he home? Don't we, Nate? Tell him, please. He can't hear me through your double glazed windows, Teddy. He can hear. Actually, they're triple glazed, Jerry. Don't, Teddy. Look, Jerry, I want you to have your time with Nathan. But I want you to keep our agreement, too. This is fucked. I am his dad. And then you, you are nobody. I've asked Pam to marry me. If she says yes, this business of child support becomes rather academic, doesn't it? So long, Jerry. Nobody! Hey, so long, son. I'll see you soon. have to run so fast. It's called exercise. Hey, Dave, there's the one you should be yelling at. We left him back at 7-Eleven. Are you really going to do this stripping thing? Hey, you got a better idea. I got two weeks to get the money or I lose you. Couldn't you just get a normal job? It takes too long. I need a one night killing. Chad, just promise me you won't tell anybody what you're going to do. I mean, anybody I know, OK? Are you going to be ashamed of me? I can never be ashamed of you. That's my boy. <laughs> it's more like embarrassed. I'm going to be late. See you. That <laughs> a boy, Dave. It's the first day, and already you look better. Save the sweet talk, Jerry. I'm not doing it. I'll train with you, but I'm not taking off my clothes in front of a thousand women. Heck, I don't even like taking off my clothes in front of Georgie. We can make a lot of money. Fifty thousand dollars. You can make a lot of money. I'm keeping my pants on. Just call me Tina Turner. I'm a private dancer. <laughs> oh, give me a cigarette. Nah, we are in training. You promised me a cigarette if I made it up this hill. Yeah, well, I meant the next one. Oh. Come on. Fast forward! after your luscious body. The only thing I'm lusting after is the smoke. Come on, just got another month. <laughs> Bastard! Oh. 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 Hey, hey, you got a cigarette? Bastard won't let me one. Oh, thank you. Oh. You got a light? Oh, bunch of boys. Hurry up, Dave. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, did you used to work in a factory before it closed? Yeah, I thought I recognized you. You were uh, you on the floor with Jerry. That's him up the hill. Uh, uh. So, how's it going? <laughs> nice talking to you, too. What the hell, Dave? Hey, a good Samaritan, leave it to you. I don't know what he's so bummed out about. He's the only one who got a job in the plant clothes. They made him the night security guard. Oh, oh Christ! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Hey, McGregor, McGregor, hey, oh, wake up. Oh, it's all, all right, get, 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 get out of it. Here we go, come on. Wake up, wake up. Hey, 
We do that for everybody we meet trying to commit suicide. Cigarette? Oh, no, thanks. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> you know, if you're serious about trying to kill yourself... I am. Well, you want to find a nice high bridge, like one of them bungee jumps, without the bungee bed. Well, I'm afraid of heights. Uh, drowning. <clears throat> it's a good way to go. Very peaceful, I've heard. Just fill your pockets full of rocks and wait out in the Lake Erie. Well, no, I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to swim to drown, you jerk. Not too bright, are you? Well, my mother would agree with you. You listen to her? Oh, I live with her. Oh, that would drive me to suicide. She's not well. She needs me. Well, who's going to take care of her when you're gone? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I know. Why don't you stand out in the middle of the throughway and get a friend of yours to run you over really fast? Ah, good thinking, Dave. That should do it. Oh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Listen, you. We just saved your life. So don't tell us you don't have any friends. Yeah, me too. I'd just soon run you over as look at you. <laughs> Sorry. What are friends for? I mean, who else is going to help you try and kill yourself? Let's find a rock. I mean a big ass rock Or maybe something like a cinder block is better We'll hoist it up and drop it on your face, my buddy And just before the lights go out You'll see my smile and you'll know you've got a friend With a rock, who cares? I mean a big ass rock Or a rope, I got some quality rope Made for a man who's devoid of hope like you are. My buddy, Michael. Oh, that's Malcolm. No, right! And I won't leave you swinging there, twitching like a fish while you claw on the air. I'll grab your feet, a pile of mine. I'll pull real hard and snap your spinal cord. This world is cold when you're alone and they ignore you. But don't kill yourself We'll do it for you You've got a friend You've got a friend You've got a friend You know, I asked the guy who wants to be mine put me in a barrel and shove me over the falls You know what the son of a bitch said? Yeah. Fuck you, asshole People are pricks. Yeah. You know, I asked the guy to take an air compressor and drill a six-inch nail right through my eye. Yeah, what'd he say? I'm low on nails. <laughs> People are selfish pricks. Oh, another time, get this. Yep. I lay down in front of a steamroller and asked the guy to just proceed. You know, business as usual and squash me like a bug. Good way to go, Jared, old bug squash. You mean, you guys think about killing yourselves too? At least once a day. Well, what stops you? He tells me it would break his heart. We have put a plastic laundry bag over his head. Ah, such a wimp suicide. Yeah. Oh, uh, I stuck my finger in a socket once. It hurt real bad. But it didn't kill me. Malcolm, stay out of this. I've got a friend like Carol King. Or was it Carly Simon used to sing? I always get those two. Part of the gang, a member of the club. 
Oh, no, I like the big ass rock. Nah, one good swing and I'll clean his clock forever. Let gravity do the work. It's a man's way to die, Mikey. No, I got friends. a nice one right over here. Hey, can I give me a hand with that? It looks heavy. No, Dave. It ain't heavy. He's my friend. Come on! Group on! Here we go. Here we go. Malcolm, I've been thinking. A body like yours must drive the ladies crazy. God, here we go again. Really? Uh, my mother says I'm pigeon chested. And, and I bet you move like a, like a bat out of hell. Well, I've only danced with my mother. And when she's well, she likes to dance. Do you know what a pelvic thrust is, Malcolm? Don't listen to him, buddy. He'll have your butt naked in no time. It's easy. It's falling off a lot. Ha! Yeah! You're hired! <laughs> I've got friends. What do you want him for? His mother's right. He is pigeon chested and he's suicidal. He's the night security guard over at the plant. We'll have a place to practice. Quit saying we, will you? And besides, it'll be I've good. Got what do you call it for? <laughs> Therapy! Malcolm, you are a natural. Now don't ask too many questions. Remember, tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp, practice at the plane. Oh, I'm not supposed to let anyone in there. We're friends, Malcolm. Friends don't say no to friends. Later, you're gonna wish I left you in that car. Eight o'clock, don't be late. Oh, I can't be late. That's the night bar. I've got friends. I can manage. I don't need you to get up to my own bed. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I lost track of time. What were you doing? Oh, I was just hanging out with some friends. You don't have any friends, Malcolm. I do now. Well, don't let me get in the way. It won't happen again. I thought you would go. You gonna leave me here all day? It's okay now. I hope they're nice boys now. Two, cha cha cha. Three, four, cha cha cha. Cha cha time, Mr. and Mrs. Nikas. Everybody, feel the lot and beat. That's dancing, I'd rather not. They'd laugh us off the stage if we tried pulling that. Can you just see us, Dave? It's a dance school, and you said you were looking for a teacher. Yeah, no, thanks. It, it's just not the sort of dancing we need. I mean, this is more for a cruise ship. Let's go, guys. Hey, Jared. What about these two? They're pretty terrific. Distinct possibilities. Oh, no. Harold the Hun? Mr. Nichols, remember us? What are you doing? That's Mr. Nichols. We know him. Of course we know him. That's the SOB who cost efficiency just right out of our jobs. Who are they, Harold? He lost his, too. It serves him right, the bastard. Let's get out of here. Just some rollers from the plant. One of them's a real troublemaker. Come on, let's dance. No, wait. Maybe there's something wrong, Harold. Oh, Vicky, I don't really... Hi, I'm Vicki Nichols, Mr. Nichols' wife. Is everything all right at the plant? What plant? I'm sure things at the plant are fine, Vicky. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. What do you mean she doesn't know? That I was let go too. You gotta cover for me, please. Okay. This 
isn't about the plant, Miss Nichols. This is more of a social visit. Oh, what a relief. Well, you just caught us brushing up on our Latin dancing before Harold takes me to Puerto Rico next month. <laughs> Have you ever been? Mm. Oh, daiquiris to die for. Of course, Bali is our dream destination. See Bali and die, n'est-ce pas? Yeah, that's what I always say. Oh, with jobs like yours, you have to travel. Harold comes home beat, the weight of the world on his shoulders, and all he thinks of is where to take me next. You know him as Mr. Nichols, supervisor. I know him as Harold, the perfect husband. <laughs> the key! Oh, I have to make a blush. <laughs> then don't listen, Harold. <laughs> you gotta love that. I'm a personal angel. I've always wanted the kind of life that I've been having as Harold's wife. What a catch I have caught. He would buy me the moon and the moon could be mine. I'm telling you, you gotta love that man. <laughs> Why can't you tell her? She adores me. How do you break the heart of someone you love? I really love Steal to me. So we better be the love. feelings. We need your help, Mr. Nichols. I'm sorry, but at this point in my life, I'm trying to help myself. It's sink or swim time, and I am drowning. It's every man for himself. If we want to learn to dance, and we need a teacher. Dance. Wouldn't you be better off looking for a job like I am? Uh, this is a job. Sort of. But we're going to strip, and we want you to teach us. Strip? Like a Chippendales thing? No, more like a buffalo virgin. You know, more realistic, more masculine. Over at Tony Giordano's place, we figure we can make 50 thou easy, one night only. But you can't dance. That's where you come in. <laughs> <laughs> now I've heard everything. And what's so funny? I can just see you, the three stooges, prancing around Buffalo with your willies out. <laughs> what are you going to call yourselves, the dancing dicks? Peanut size, I'm sure. Bring your own telescope. I knew you wouldn't help us. We'll do this without you. No, you won't. You won't do it at all. Why not, Mr. Nichols? Why the hell not? I'll tell you, Lukowski, because you're too thin, he's too fat, he's too dumb, and you're all too ugly. Mrs. Nichols! No! We'll kill her. Oh, my kid. 
kidding. It'll kill me. Oh. Hey. You don't know what it's like when I'm going through. I was somebody before this happened. We know, Mr. Nichols. So will we. I have an MBA from the Wharton School of Business. I can't take the first thing that comes along. Yeah, but you, your kids, you think it's all a game. I can't run out and steal a car like you, Lukowski, and go to jail. I've got a standard of living, responsibility. So do we. Jerry, tell about Nate. Mr. Nichols, Jerry will lose joint custody of his son if he doesn't get his share of money. Now, you don't got kids, but the way you love your missus, that's the way Jerry loves Nate, maybe even more. Why'd you have to go telling him that? He doesn't care. 50,000, you said? 50,000, we're easy. It's not my kind of dancing. It's just ass wiggling. Anybody can. If it were just ass wiggling, we wouldn't need your help. What if somebody finds out I have got a reputation to protect? You've also got a stack of bills and a wife who likes to go places. Howie. Howie. It's all right, you can call me Jerry. I am a son of a bitch to take orders from. Oh, we know. You should have heard some of the names we had for you. Horrible Harold, Harold <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, not now, So, how many guys you figure we need to put on a good show? Minimum six. Unless you want us looking at your skinny legs all night. There's a possibility. Ask him if he wants to strip. You ask him. That's what producers do, isn't it? Ask people to take their clothes off. And not men. It's very simple. You go up to him and you say, excuse me, you're a good looking man. My friends and I are putting on a show and we wonder how you feel about dropping your trousers for us. There's nothing to it. You want to dance? Oh, no, no, sweetheart. Would we like the ass on that guy? Uh, I've seen better. You can't rush this. Hey, Jerry, there's a possible nine. Hell, Dave, that guy's a 10. Hey, how are we close to Another production of the Velveteen Rabbits. Buffalo. We gave the world buffalo wings. Now we're gonna give them buffalo wieners. <laughs> yes, I got it. You're funny. <laughs> Male strippers. Try out tonight. No experience necessary. <laughs> Gotta be kidding. Hey, I'd pay a good fifty to see you wiggling your wick, Jackson. And <laughs> hey, does your father know you're doing this, kid? Yeah. He organized it. You coming to tryouts? Get out of here, man. What is Buffalo coming to? Desperate times take desperate measures. Uh, thank you. Uh, you can call me Marty. Marty, thank you, Marty. I also do this thing with a bullwhip. You know, crack it. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Guess that's a no? Thanks. I feel terrible. The guy has got four kids. Can we? No, there has got to be a modicum of talent, Jerry. Why don't we ask the piano player? Hey, what'd you think, Jeanette? You talking to me? Yeah, what did you think of him? No sense of rhythm, sings flat, and a bad toupee. Other than that, I'd grab him. We are running out of possibilities. Don't worry, fellas. When the right guy walks through that door, you'll know. He'll glimmer. He'll light up the room. Seen it happen a thousand times. You audition for days, they're all dogs, you're ready to slit your wrists. And in walks Barbara Streisand. Who is this person? She just showed up, piano and all. Besides, you're offering these guys more than a job. You're offering them hope. I'll tell you this, my heart beat a little faster when I heard about this gig. I said to my husband, Lou, Lou Feltzer, he had a minor hit with Milkman's Serenade on Decca in 1947. If you listen real close, you can hear me tickling the ivories on the third chorus. I said, Lou, Lou, wake up. I'm tired of sitting and rocking, aren't you? We may be retired and living in Buffalo. 
which is probably an oxymoron. <laughs> but I have not yet milked my last cow. Some of the boys down at the plant are putting on a show. Send me my mail there. <laughs> Who's next? I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Hey guys, remember me? Hey Reg. Thought I'd give it a go, science that amateur, and I don't think you can get more amateur than this. <clears throat> Hit it. Hit what, sweetheart? <laughs> do you know any Heartbreak Hotel? Honey, I wrote it. Hey, uh, do me a favor and try to keep up. Sorry, <clears throat> I thought I'd give it a try. Things being a bit desperate. Of course, I don't have to tell you guys how it is. Three boys to feed and I can't even take off my damn clothes properly. That's okay, Reg, no problem. Hey, you want a beer? No, thank you, Jerry. I got the kids in the car. Well, bring them in. This is no place for kids. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Willoughby. Why do the really bad ones always have kids? You want to be in show business? You should be spayed first. <laughs> Can we no, 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 no. You heard the lady. She said a glimmer, Jerry. Hello? Oh, he's too old. Your name is Mr. Horse? No, just Horse. You want to tell us something about yourself, Horse? Well, what do you want to know? I'm out of work. They let me go at McDonald's, said I wasn't cheerful enough, scaring the customers. Uh, since my wife passed, I've been living with my aunt. She's got leukemia. Stuff like that. That'll be fine, horse. Just let my colleagues on the panel and I just, hey, Jeanette. Oh, sure. This is the part where they talk about you and you gotta pretend you can't hear. Hey, I remember you from McDonald's. I was waitressing at the IHOP across the street. <laughs> no, this is more like it. What, an old man? No, you don't. A black man. They're every woman's fantasy. <laughs> Ask him why they call him horse. <laughs> you ask him. It's not because he runs a Kentucky Derby. What's the use of a big bundle if you need a walker to carry it around? He must be 50 if he's a gay. Uh, what can you do, horse? Well, there's the bump, the stomp, the twist. <laughs> I guess my breakdancing days are probably over now. But there's always the funky chicken. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, horse. Jeanette, one funky chicken. To stay or to go? <laughs> it's, it, it's been a while, remember, and I got this little dicey hip here. Tally ho, horse. Let's blow their minds. When I was just a little nipper, daddy told me, son, that things out underneath your zipper can be lots of fun. When you get a little older, understand that every woman in the world loves a big black man. Now I ain't easy. I ain't no man of me, but I got me feet and my dad is you. You just meet me once and you'll understand there ain't nothing in the world like a big black man. Cause I'm big and I'm proud, singing it loud, dancing it since the day I was born. Who's got the truth? Thank you. 
the cover of the book of love. I don't need no lies. I don't need no plan. There ain't nothing in the world like a here I go. Now hit me. Hit me twice. Hit me three times. Can I get a drink? <laughs> Thank you, sir. You something else over there, I can't, I can't, I can't keep up with you. Can I sit down? Things are tough for all of us. <laughs> I've seen him before. He plastered my bathroom. He knows me. Get rid of him. He'll blow my cover. Keep your head down. You'll be fine. So what are you going to do for us, Mr. Gerard? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's Ethan, please. Uh, I've always wanted to be a dancer, but I couldn't, you know, dance. <laughs> oh, uh, my favorite movie is Singing in the Rain. And, and Donald O'Connor does that running up the wall thing, which isn't really dancing, <laughs> which is why I thought I could do it. <laughs> what running up the wall thing? Okay. 
I'm Donald O'Connor. You're you. Okay. Watch. Here goes nothing. That's a showstopper. <laughs> Are you all right? I didn't get enough speed. <laughs> Let me try it again. I know I can do it. I'll yell when I'm ready. Hey, has anybody seen Davey today? His wife's been on to take one of those security jobs down at Walmart. Wouldn't be surprised if he went to one of those interviews. I'm ready! Anybody gonna call 911? It's better in the movie. But I think I can nail it next time. Oh, that won't be necessary, Ethan. No, no, I, I, I can do it at home. These are funny walls. That, that, that's fine, Ethan. So, you don't sing? No. And you don't dance? <laughs> no. Well, don't take this the wrong way, but what the hell do you do? Oh, uh, I thought maybe this. <laughs> Gentlemen, put on your sunglasses. <laughs> we suddenly have a lot of glimmer. Mr. Nichols, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I plastered his bathroom. <laughs> How long have you been? Night gun, cover your eyes. Is there anything else you want to see? No! Look at you, my 
life, my dream. My lady with the $80 slumber cream. The $100 haircuts, the novelty appliances we never use. And all those shoes you bought for when we go on the Alaskan cruise. My boat is sinking, I don't care. You're everything I want to rule my world. gonna be here any minute. It's our first day of rehearsal. I wanna look my best. So is it better if I do this? Or if I do this? It's better if you just don't. Hey, come on, Nate. If I'm gonna pull this off, I need all the confidence I can get. In two weeks, I'm gonna be in front of a thousand women without my clothes on. Should I go to a gym? I don't know. Ask Estelle. What's that supposed to mean? She's the expert. Ooh, ah, do it, Jerry. Right, no more sleepovers. Who for? Me or Estelle? Both of you. No, I'm not doing this for a laugh. I am doing this for you, for your fucking maintenance. I gotta go. Oh, hey, Nate, I didn't mean it like that. You know I didn't mean it like that. So we can keep seeing each other. Look, they want to take you away from me. But I am not gonna let that happen. I already told Teddy, don't hold your breath. He's my kid, I'm gonna keep him. Teddy's okay. You like Teddy? Yeah, and he's nice to mom. You know he wants to marry her? I told her she should. Yeah, what'd she say? She said she was thinking about it. I gotta go, Teddy bought hockey tickets. No, wait. I, I like you, and, and you, you're a, you're a great kid. And, oh, hell, I love you. You're my son, and I am not gonna lose you. I think you're supposed to say something back here, Nate. I love you too, but it's gonna be a really great game to have a good rehearsal. And you. Ten years old, going on 40. Yeah, well, 32, going on 10. <laughs> we still need a sixth man, Dave. What, a fat bastard like me? No way, Jack. 
Besides, I already told Georgia to check out the security job at the mall. Now those Chippendales aren't checking anything out. They are raking it in. $50,000. But I couldn't do it. I got the money. I mean, season tickets for the bills. Something nice for Georgie. Yeah, a new vacuum. No, but a new roof. What's stopping you? Common sense. When have we ever listened to common sense? <laughs> Just think of Georgie's face when she sees you up there on that stage with the lights and the music and all those women screaming for you. And you looking like- Refrigerator Perry. <laughs> no, see there you go again, negative. Looking like, like, like John Travolta. Really, John Travolta? Georgie loves John Travolta. Really? Ah, with the right lights and music? You'll be better than John Travolta. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm in. Ladies, eat your hearts out. <laughs> Gentlemen, we got our sixth man. <laughs> Ah, take a deep breath. The smell of fear. <laughs> God, I love the first day of rehearsals. Who's gonna be keeping that one on a leash? She's the only pro here, Harold. Now, nobody try any funny stuff and we'll get along just fine. Arthur Godfrey came on to me once and almost did not live to tell the tale. Let's get to work. All right, now, so. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. <laughs> Sound of Music? That's my favorite movie. No, it's mine too. I, I, I've seen it 200 times. Let's try three. No, <laughs> jump ahead. Yeah. Lining up, lining up. Starting on our right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. Follow me. Simple. Right and right. Left and left. Right. Right. Hey, gentlemen, you got you got to work with me here again. Back it up. Horse, I, I need you to anchor me down at the end. Right. Jeanette, from the top. Gentlemen, just listen to the music and let your bodies do the rest. Think of Saturday Night Fever. All right, forget Saturday Night Fever. Just be yourselves, all right? Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Right and right. And Jerry, I need you to come down. And Ethan, I need you to stay back. Thank you. No, 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 not that far. And you stay put. Horse, you're killing me. Stop, stop, stop. You don't have to be Einstein to remember these steps. I mean, I've seen you guys play basketball. You remember those plays. Those aren't real plays. We're just having fun. Yeah, basketball's natural. This stuff's weird. When you're shooting hoops, who's listening to music? You, you just move where you gotta move. I can't play any slower. This is a disaster. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Harold. You know, I think he's onto something, gentlemen. I think what Harold means is, you know, more like a like an old Michael Jordan combination. You know, fake spin shoot. Oh yeah, fake right. spin shoot. shoot. <laughs> yeah, fake spin shoot. When Michael's got the basketball, it's Michael's house from wall to wall. Yeah, that name is a different game when it's Michael Jordan's ball. When it's Michael's ball, you're dead, you're through. Michael takes the game to you. He's in your face, you've lost the race. It's Michael Jordan's ball. The fake, the spin, the drive, and then you're in the paint. The pump, the jump, and he's up in the air like a goddamn saint. When Michael bolts and he penetrates, you feel the bolts he generates. He's slick as soap, he's king, he's pope, he's Michael friggin' Jordan. Follow me. Ha. Here we go. Ha. Ha. Hey. 
starting to look real good to me. 
Once more from the top, Harold? <laughs> I didn't think so. Harold. I think I got it. <laughs> hey, they laughed at Columbus. They laughed at the Wright brothers. And now they're going to be laughing at us. We just need more practice. It's only been a week. It's my fault, boys. It's nobody's fault. I've let you down. I'm not a teacher. I can't even get you in a fucking straight line. Sorry, Jeanette. For what? Skip it. Anybody want a hit? Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> no? Jesus, this is like working with Lawrence Welk. Are you watching? that kid. <laughs> this gig's an echo of the time with Buddy Greco when we did the Desert Inn in 59. The dancing girls were clunky, the drummer was a junkie, but we pulled the act together and we killed them every time. That having been said, frankly, I think that things are worse here. <laughs> that guy in his head are gonna need some kind of nurse here. It's like a friggin' curse here. Things could be better. Also, sue me, it's the truth. Things could be better around here. It's an attitude problem, I've seen it a million times. I was subbing with Stan Kenton in this city club in Trenton when I heard my third divorce had just gone through. I could have torn my heart out, but instead I got my chart out and I gave them all a lesson in the way to play the blues. That having been said, something is even more morose here. Just looking ahead's making me feel real gross here. We aren't even close here. Things could be better. Could they get any worse? I don't think so. Things could be better around here. It's like a putz museum, a showbiz mausoleum. Things could be better around here. There's a problem here. with the timing. There's a problem with the groove. There's an overwhelming lethargy. Nothing can improve. You can sense defeat get closer every time they add a move. <laughs> There's only six days. That guy needs some lipo, and I could use some geritol delivered in a hypo, but I don't want to cry. Oh, things could be better. You bet your ass they could. Things could be better around here. Now let me just tell you something. I've played for hoofers who can't hoof. I've played for tone-deaf singers. And once, when I insulted Frank, I played with broken fingers. I paid my dues, I know the blues, of this I can assure you. So now I'll say it one last time, cause I don't want to bore you. I've got some bad news for you. Things could be better, they could be better. Could be better. Let's face it, we suck. We're deep down in the dish, man. The showbiz is a bitch, man. what Kate Smith used to say about a bad rehearsal? Usually means a bad performance. <laughs> hey! If we chicken out now, we'll be the laughing stock of Buffalo. 
We'll be the laughing stock of Buffalo if we don't. Ethan's gonna end up with brain damage. Oh, I just need more time, guys. See? <laughs> that is the spirit, Ethan. They always laugh when somebody goes where no one's gone before. But then, when they get there, it's nothing but R-E-S-P-E-C-T. What? Hey, it looks like somebody's been practicing. <laughs> so what are we, men or mice? Okay, let's give the ladies what they came hey, for. Let's do it. Come on. First, the belt. The, the belt. belt. We very slowly unbuckle and wham! We very slowly unbuckle and wham! Oh, 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 God! What are you doing? Maybe we were a little premature from the top, Jeanette. Nice and slow this time. Hey, might be excused to teach. What's up? Tony wants an advance in case we don't show Sunday night. No way, I told him, we'll show. Hey, well, how much does he want? A thousand bucks. Uh -oh. A thousand dollars? Where are we gonna get that kind of money? Well, leave it to me, it's a done deal. You just work on your pelvic thrust and lay off the cheeseburgers. Nathan. Gentlemen, five, six, seven, eight, right and right, left and left again. Nice one, I hope. Well, that depends on you. I want us to be friends. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Nathan. What do you think you're old man now? I still need those invoices, Estelle. I only have two legs, Mrs. Lukowski. That's not what I heard. We're all holding our breath till Sunday. What was that all about? Uh, nothing much. You know Estelle. <laughs> Nathan, go get yourself a Coke. I don't... Oh. Uh. Oh. Here, honey. He looks more like you every day. He's gonna be a real heartbreaker. <laughs> Thanks. It wasn't a compliment. Ouch. So how are you? You look good. Jerry, I look the same as I did last week. Is this about Nathan? Well, in a way. Now, you don't remember how we were on a honeymoon, on that boat at the fall, some the made of the mist. And I made a promise that one day I was gonna make something of myself, something you and our kids could be proud of. Jerry, I was proud of you when I married you. And I know, I, I've met a lot of people down since then, but mainly you and Nate. But that is all about to change. You got a job! Oh, Jerry, that's wonderful! A man with your potential where out at the mall? Well, it, it's not a job per se, it's, well, it's more like a, like a special engagement sort of thing. But I am going to get you all your money back. Well, our money. Nathan's. <laughs> you know what I mean. I hate it when you look at me like that. Go on. Well, the thing is, Pam, you have to invest a little to get something back. No. Oh, I don't believe this. You're hustling me for money? No, but I'll get your money back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boy, don't you trust me? Jerry. Do you know how much money you already owe me? Hey, that's different. This is for Nathan. You want to go on being his father? You better start acting like one. What do you think I'm trying to do? You want some money? I need someone in packing right now. Nine fifty an hour. I can't. Why not? I can't tell you. Oh, grow up, Jerry. This isn't a game. He's our son. And you're going to lose him. Don't make me do this to you. I am not the enemy. What a bitch. Shut up, Estelle. What? What did I say? Isn't that what you're always telling me? When are you coming over? <laughs> Goddamn men. More trouble than you're worth. <laughs> Get 
your money, Tony. I just need a little more time. My usual source is dried out. Yeah, I, look, my kid is staying over. Can I call you back? Well, the good news is, is your old man won't be embarrassing you Sunday night. <coughs> the bad news is we won't be seeing so much of each other. What's this? Open it. I can't take this. Nate, this is your savings. It's the thousand dollars you need for the club. It's for when you turn 18, when you'll need it for college. You told Mom you'd get it back. You don't want to start listening to what I say. I said so. That's good enough for me. Jesus, Nate. Don't forget, that's my college. Night, Dad. There's a breeze off the river Through a crack in the window pane I see my boy on the pillow And I feel like I'm lost again Everybody knows the secret They all know what their life should be and they move like a river Everybody knows except for me And I never feel like somebody Somebody calls a father I can't explain but when I look at you kid It's like a mirror It spins my head it wakes me like the breeze off the river Every time I see your face And it's strange but familiar Like a map of a better place And sometimes I feel like I live in a shadow Shadows all I see And then you jump straight up And you grab the moon And you make it shine on me Where do you get it from? Everybody knows the secret Well, I don't And I never did I don't know any secrets All I know is I love you, kid All I know is I love you, kid All I know Organizing the entire closet. It's not. Oh. <laughs>
she's back. That sucks like real gold. You put that down! You'll break it. Ooh, very latte da, Harold. <laughs> These are the kind of walls I was talking about. Don't even think about it! You got a beer? No. I must be insane to let you rehearse here. Oh, well, you didn't have much choice. Who knew they'd hired another security guard? We're lucky we didn't get caught. Gentlemen, this is it. D-Day. Today, we take our clothes off. Do we have to? Oh, come on. If we can't take our clothes off in front of each other, how are we going to do it in front of a thousand women? All of them? Yes, all of them. When did everybody get so modest? Hey, just pretend you're in a locker room. Yo, where Katinsky? How's it hanging? Hey. Let me rephrase that. Thank you. Wait, ah, just a minute. Well, this is a nice neighborhood, in case you haven't noticed. OK, let's go, let's go. Shirts off. Come on. No looking and no laughing, you bastards. Hey, suck in your stomach, Dave. I am. Sorry? What are you looking at? Nothing. What? The well, don't. Mark. I've had it since birth. <laughs> I used to have a real job. Hey, that wasn't so hard, was it? Speak for yourself. Hey, one small step for man, one enormous step for hot metal. What's hot metal? We are. Nathan came up with it. OK, now the pants. Gentlemen, the day of reckoning has come. You can say that again. <laughs> Horse by name, horse by nature, huh, horse? <laughs> Would you just shut up? No, oh, times like this, I wish I was a black man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not really. Hey, fellas, from now on, I want you to start calling me uh, Noah. Sure thing, horse. Horse is a nickname. I'm too old for a nickname. You want us to take our shorts off now? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. Oh. Now, the horse is right. Not What's your fair. hurry? Hey, savor the moment. Feel good about yourself. Why are you so brown, Harold? I don't know. Somebody's got a sunbed. It's Vicky's. No, you can't use it, so don't even think about asking. It's not paid for. Anti-wrinkle cream. Hey, does this work on men? It hasn't worked on Vicky. Put that down, I said. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do with this? Hey, no, it doesn't look so bad from the front. Just don't turn sideways. Hey, 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 Dave, my Aunt Claudia has a weight problem, and she wraps herself with saran wrap. Saran wrap? I'm not a drumstick. Saran wrap yourself. Fat, David, is a feminist issue. Hey, what's that supposed to mean if you're a man? It's supposed to mean fat or thin. You're beautiful. Do you believe that? No, and I don't know anybody who does. You are what you look like. Ask Vicky. This is what we're all supposed to look like, men and women. Holy Mary, mother of God. Dave, take a look at this. It's better than Playboy. Yeah, but who looks like that? Tell me, who? This one does. She's a picture in a magazine. Yeah, well, that's good enough for me. But take a look at this girl. That's everything I like. 
She's got the face, she's got the weight, she's got the legs. Nah, her tits are too big. What are you, crazy? Bodacious fun bags are a must. They got to be C or D or better. They got to pose a threat to the sweater. Ah! <laughs> she's got the good. That's an eight or nine at least. She's got the good. Let me see that. Mm, she has some irredeemable flaws. I give her a six. What? Ah. Now there's a ten. You call that a ten? Based on the booty. What do you mean it's huge? She got a butt like a battleship. I don't need to look above the hips. She's got that chef kind of ass. You can display your chachi, your collectibles on there. <laughs> Baby got back, and that's a fact. You can park your wide track, punching act, and that's crack. Oh! Now that's the good. The bigger the picture. She's got a sofa bed back there. Better hope the women are more forgiving than we are. Uh, uh, what is that supposed to mean? Well, if they're looking at us Sunday night the way we're usually looking at them, we're in trouble. He just said her tits are too big. They might say the same thing about your dick. I can deal with that. Hey, is there a bathroom back here? I'm being serious. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's different. We're men. They wouldn't do that to us. What they? <laughs> say you got saggy tits. I do not have saggy tits. And besides, I wasn't talking about her personality. I'm sure she's a very nice woman. She's not going to be talking about your personality either when you're standing up there in all your masculine glory, which is lucky for you because basically you're a bastard. I tell you, fellas, anti-wrinkle cream there may be. Anti-fat bastard cream there ain't. <laughs> the best time for this, but... Oh, mother of God. Oh. I told him we wanted something sexy. This is not sexy. This is na naked. This doesn't look very sexy to me. Well, not when you hold it like that, like it's gonna bite. They'll be sexy when we're in them. Hey, these are top of the line. That's genuine leather almost. How much? 25 each. Oh. Oh. oh, you don't get much for your money, do you? <laughs> Hide! Where? Where? In there! Oh, God. Go! Oh, oh, Come on, let's go. Let's go, get in there, please. Horse, go! Go! Get the, get the, go. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs>
No, just a minute. I got a repossessed order for one Hitachi Ultravision 49-inch TV and a Westinghouse sunbed. You know, we only owe another 400 on the sunbed. They're not worth that much secondhand. Yeah, but they're not secondhand. They are now, Mac. Now, where's the sunbed? <laughs> What's the matter, big man, huh? Look, Dave, you gotta talk to me. I'm your wife. You're still hiring security guards at the mall? gonna do. Today is our dress rehearsal. Our undress rehearsal. Where are they? You know, it is bad form to keep an audience waiting. I hate it when it happens to me. We can't start without Dave. Oh, uh, Jerry's getting him. I guess he forgot the dress rehearsal. Anything the matter, horse? That is my nickname. I'm not a horse. Now, they're all expecting me to overwhelm everybody with the size of my... I'm sorry, Jeanette. I can't use words like penis or Johnson in front of a lady. It's my upbringing. Well, I appreciate that. So, you trying to tell me you got a small dick horse? <laughs> I'm saying no such thing. Most men are, that's why they call it average. Come here, let me look, I'll let you know. Hey, you crazy woman! No, but I've been married eight times, so I guess I know what average is. Oh, stop worrying. Come the moment of truth, nobody's gonna be thinking about anybody's size but his own. Besides, they didn't hire you because you were big. They hired you because you were good. Thank you, Jeanette. You know, sometimes you need to hear something like that. But it ain't easy being a big black man. You gotta show those boys it's not a man's size, but what he does with it that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, where have you been all of my life? Oh. <laughs> I can't hold them much longer. They're all so old, Nathan. Of course they're old. They're from the rest home. <laughs> they're on an outing. Hey, 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 senior citizens can be a great audience. Of course, they can turn on you, too. 
look what they did to Eddie Fisher. Oh. <laughs> it's bad luck to peak, Mr. Simmons. Hey, hey, you got my eye out there. What's... Everybody ready? Let's do it. What happened? Where's Dave? He's not coming. He took that security job down at Walmart. Always knew he was a loser. Dave's your best friend. It was, Snake, was. Jeanette, let's get going. I don't know why I'm nervous. Who's gonna be looking at me? Gentlemen, we who are about to die salute you. <sighs> Ladies, welcome to the dress <laughs> rehearsal of Hot Metal. Now, when you talk about this back at the nursing home, huh? remember to tell your friends that we'll be appearing this Sunday, one performance only, over at Tony Giordano's place, over on Route 11. So, without further ado, we give you hot metal. Mom? Mom? Ethan, it's my mother! Come quick! I can help you. better call somebody. That matron wanted to strip search me. I told her, you don't want to go there, lady. Hey, Jerry, I think these are yours. What do you mean I can't see him? He's my kid. I haven't been charged with anything. Sorry, he's a minor. The social worker wants to talk to him. His mom's coming for him. I'm Pam Blakowski. I've come to pick up my son. Just a minute, ma'am. Everything is fine, Pam. No one has been charged with anything. So this is your great money-making enterprise, Jerry? Pornography? Oh, don't be crazy. I am trying to get you your money back. My money? Nathan's money, don't you mean? I couldn't believe it when they told me at the bank. You almost had me fooled. Nathan, are you all right? I'm fine. Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. Come on. Come on, Nathan. I'm with Dad this weekend. Change of plans, darling. They're taking me away from him, aren't they? Unemployed. Criminal record. Child support arrears of close to $1,500. Now arrest for indecent exposure. You still think you're a good father, Jerry? He's trying. You don't know how hard he's trying. Thanks, buddy. It's a bit late for that. I'll be there Sunday, Dad. Somehow. Look at yourself, Jerry. Just look at yourself. Are you really going to marry that guy? Would you blame me? No. You said something else on the Maid of the Mist. You said, Pam, I won't ever let you down. Start with yourself, Jerry. Do something you're proud of. Forget about me and Nate. We're fine. Goodbye, Jerry. Wow. 
What is a man? Why does he bother? Because he's a man. Because he's a father. He wants his kid. He wants his life. wasn't a great woman. She wasn't a famous one. I'm told a lot of people didn't even like her, but she loved her son. God's eye is on a woman such as this as surely as it is on his tiniest sparrow. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. We are at a funeral for Christ's sake. Malcolm, would you like to say something? Georgie's hand and we're married.
Hey, ladies, hope you got your tickets. We are nearly clean. Oh, that's not what we heard. The Bills are playing the same night. Tony Giordano's already saying you guys are a bust. Besides, we just had the real thing. Why are we gonna pay good money for a bunch of amateurs? We're better. Than a Chippendale? I don't think so, Pop Pops. <laughs> We're different. <laughs> Gentlemen, in that department, you're all pretty much the same. <laughs> I think I'll go to the game. Yeah, well, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Those Chippendales don't go all the way. We go all the way, don't we, guys? We what? You what? Oh, you heard me. What do they call it? The full Monty. And what you ladies want to see Sunday night is what you're going to get. The full Monty? Oh. You don't have the guts. Oh, don't we? <laughs> well, I'll take two tickets. <laughs> I've seen the Bills play. Yeah, but you've also Shut seen Jerry. up. Hey, what's the other one for? My mother. She needs a good jump start. <laughs> if, you're, if you're going all the way up, ten tickets, ten. You take me, I do not, Foxy Lady. You never said anything about going all the way. She was right about the tickets. I didn't want to tell you guys. Look, we got to do something those Chippendales don't. Yeah, I know. It's called niche marketing, but we're talking about our dicks. Four, please. You're sexy. Thank you. In a non-threatening way. You look pathetic in that uniform. Almost didn't recognize you at the funeral. Don't rub it in. Your uniform is still waiting for you if you want to change your mind about Sunday night. I can't, Jerry. I promise Georgia I'd give Walmart a try. Don't you think I want to be up there with you and the guys on a big night? What's stopping you? You know, there is a word for guys like you, and it is not a pretty one. I love my wife. We were supposed to be in this together. Like we always are, best friends. We still are. Yeah, but when the chips were down, I always knew you'd end up wimping out at the mall. What the hell? What do you want me to say, you fat bastard? Don't you ever call me fat bastard again, ever, all right? All right! Okay. I gotta go back to work. I won't be fired my first day. Sorry, Mac. It's a job. Someone's gotta do it. So, the nice man who took the Audi came back with the loose change you'd left in the ashtray. That was nice of him. The people for the sunbed weren't half so accommodating. I must have been crazy thinking I could keep it from you. How long has it been? Six months. Out of a job for six months and you didn't tell me? Why, Harold? I thought something would turn up. I'm your wife, Harold. How do you think that makes me feel? For better or worse, we said. I meant it. Didn't you? I was afraid you'd leave me if you knew. You like nice things. I want you to have them. Then you don't know me, Harold. Maybe we still don't know each other. I can cope with losing the Audi, the VCR. I can even cope with the neighbors watching our life being repossessed. What are you looking at, Mrs. Sullivan? <laughs> Nosy bitch. <laughs> what I can't cope with is being strangers. We're in this together. I love you, Harold. Not what you can buy me. Oh, I hated that sunbed. It made us look 
orange. <laughs> Georgie? Honey? Oh, there you are. Well, not such a bad first day at work. She'll be hanging around the house waiting for you to get home. What's wrong? I, uh, I should have guessed when you started wearing the aftershave. You didn't put it on for me, did you? Did you? But this? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Explains a few things, at least. It's not what you're oh thinking, God, Georgie. all those nights coming home late and stupid cow you're thinking you're out looking for a job. No wonder, no freaking wonder. I was with Jerry and Yeah, what guys. are Jerry's little whores, you mean? She'd have to be to be into this sort of shit. Shut up a minute, will you? It has nothing to do with another woman, all right? I'm, I was a stripper, okay? <laughs> Me and Jerry and some other guys from the factory thought we could make some quick cash to get our clothes off, like those chipping nails you're so hot for. Strippers. I know, I know. Wait, you and Jerry? Strippers? You weren't that bad? <laughs> Cracks in a couple weeks now, only I couldn't, could I? Well, why not? Because. Because what? Well, look at me. So? Georgie, who wants to see this dance? Me, Dave. <laughs> I do. I look at you. And what I see. The only man I ever loved in front of me. I chose you, Dave. It has changed your head. You're standing there. You're still a prince. You're still the answer to a prayer. And what I see is all I want. Your
I owe you gentlemen an apology. They're lined up around the block. We're gonna have to do a second show. It was supposed to be women only. It's half men out there, you bastard. Nobody told me. Well, tell them to go home. We'll give the money back. Well, look who's getting cold feet. I'm not getting cold feet. We had an agreement. Tell close to a thousand horny women that the show is canceled. They'll tear us to pieces. You ever see a zebra brought down by a pack of wolves, Jerry? Marvelous, those nature films on PBS. Marvelous. It's standing room only out there. Gentlemen, this is Kino. He is a real stripper. We were driving through town and I saw the poster. I had you figure it all wrong. The full Monty. You're a better man than I am, Gunga Din. You're lucky we're only doing this one night and we put you guys out of business. Oh, I'm through after Poughkeepsie. I'm going to be doing weather for WXXI in Rochester. <laughs> well, I'm going to lose my seat. Break a leg. Come on, let's go. Hey, my minister's out there. <laughs> Jeanette told you not to peek. He's out there with my mother. <laughs> She'll get over it. I'm talking about me. Hey, can we uh, not talk about mothers? We have someone in mourning here. Oh, that's all right. This would have killed her anyway. Harold, you left your contacts. <laughs> Did you tell everyone your good news? Harold got a job offer today. <laughs> a good one. For you, Harold. I asked Vicky if she thought I should still do this. Tell him what you told me, honey. I said. Harold, you have the rest of your life to wear a suit and tie to work, but only one night to be a member of Hot Metal. <laughs> Shall we do a warm-up? We have to wait for Dave. We've been through this. Dave is not coming. Everything we rehearsed was for the six of us. I'm not going out there unless we are a team. There was nothing on television, so I said to Georgie, what the hell? Might as well go the full money with the fellas. <laughs> hey, so what's your excuse now, Jerry? He doesn't have one. Gentlemen, give me wide berth. I am on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I found this one in the parking lot. They wouldn't let me in. What are you doing here? Your mother will have a fit. She's in the third row. <laughs> Did she bring Teddy with her? Yeah. And he brought his binoculars. <laughs> All right, fellas, they're calling places. <laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh, it's going to be hard going back to that rocking chair after this. <laughs> you know, I called my agent to tell him I was thinking about getting back in the business. They told me he died <laughs> 10 years ago. A dead agent, I said. That is definitely an oxymoron. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, good luck, fellas. This is it. Oh, should we get in a circle and pray? Malcolm. What? That's what the bills do. I'm trying to stay focused. Hey, guys, you, you know when I get nervous? There's a lot less glimmer. <laughs> That's OK, Ethan. It happens to the best of us. Fine, Eve. Let's go. Lord, thank you for taking that burden away from me and giving it to that poor white boy. <laughs> well, here we are again, old buddy. Head to the cliff, ready to jump. Butch Cassidy and what's the matter? I can't do it. I can't go out there. What are you talking about? This is your idea. Hey, you're going to be laughing at us. I don't blame them. It's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, well, not to me it won't. They're expecting Jerry Lukowski. So give them Jerry Lukowski. And a thousand strangers look at me without my clothes on. Well, that is the general idea at a strip club. Yeah. Guys, it's places. You're either in or you're out, Lukowski. I'm out. Hey, if he's not going out there, I'm not going to Full Monty. Neither am I. I don't mind. I'll go to Full Monty. <laughs> Who asked you, Godzilla? <laughs> no, no. If one of us doesn't go to Full Monty, then none of us does. 
We'll give him a good show, leave the rest to imagination. Let's go. Let's go. It's a time. So long, Jack. my clothes tonight. <laughs> oh, but somebody is. They may not be young, they may not be pretty, and they may not be very good. But for one night, and one night only, they're here, they're live, and they're going for no less than the full Monte! <laughs> Did I capture your imagination? Did I break you down and make you smile? It's a serious little situation. Why don't we loosen up and dance a while? A little loose lip lover with a heart of honey. Oh, that's my husband! You need a sexy <laughs> dance and duty calm. Bouncing off the wall. Let it go, let it go. Loosen up, yeah, let it go. Let it go, let it go. It's all right. Let it go, let it go. Shake it up now, let it go. You just tell me when you think you're ready. Getting a show, nobody's gonna miss me. You gotta go out there. You gave the guys your word. Oh, they know better than to listen to me. You gave me your word. Don't worry. I'll get you your money back. I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about you. Uh, don't get all grown up on me now. Dad, just this once. No wise cracks. Okay. Nate, what is it? This time, don't be what everyone else thinks you are. A loser. Hey, who are you calling a loser? You're my father. You're almost a great father. You said you needed to make a killing. This is it. Everyone we know is out there. Show them. You think I'm a great father? I said almost. I love you, you big schmuck. Come on, I'll show you mine. 
if you show me yours. Thank <laughs> you.